Warning, the following video is for entertainment purposes only and is not to be taken too seriously. The reason for this warning is that some of you are unable to grasp the concept of entertainment. If you do grasp the concept of entertainment, then give that like button a clickety clack and let me know that you are not a complete imbecile. Also, there's coarse language in this video. Probably. Fuck. Also, there's coarse language in this video. Probably. So if that offends you, sorry about that. Fuck sakes. Also, there's coarse language in this video. Probably. So if that offends you, then sorry about that. Now sit back and enjoy the show. Alrighty, guys. It's like two in the afternoon. Just gotta step on the top of the kitty. Cause she is totally trying to cook off her white patches, but super can't. And, uh, we're gonna make... Oh, fuck. I almost ate her, boys. We're gonna make that, um, fucking... Ugh. Shit I got from the buck store. Uh, before we head off to work, I'm gonna eat that, and then we'll fuck off to work. This, uh... Nissan original chow mein. Doesn't that look fucking scrumptious for you right there? Yup. Alrighty, well it says open lid to this here line right here. It says that. So we're gonna go ahead and give that a run. Okay, so I've gone ahead and added the premium ingredients package and filled her with water up to the fill line. I'm gonna chuck this in the microwave for five minutes and then we add this here soup shit to it and fucking have ourselves some chow mein. Or in this case, new walk. Well, that kind of worked out. Now to add liquid seasoning. <sighs> and there you have it. Bon appetit. Fuck, that looks disgusting. I've had better gas station food for fuck's sakes. Oh, mental note. Gas station food safer than freaking chow mein from buck store. Oh, my guts are gurgling. It's gonna be a good night tonight, boys. I can feel it already. Feel it right in my guts. Oh, man, I made some zero nick juice with that fucking Canbay Professional Series. The strawberry that's blacker than friggin' Oreo's ass. Why did I leave the microwave open? Anyway, for a strawberry, I mixed it with cheesecake. I was like, ah, oh, maybe I'll try making a strawberry cheesecake with this shit. Zero nick, because I'm out of nicotine. I'm waiting for my order to come in. But, uh, where the fuck did the sleeve on my coat go? I love sleeve, where are you? For sake's sakes, coat's all twisted to shit. I made the Canvey Professional Series, which is supposed to be premium flavoring. Bullshit. And it's complete pile of shit. I am not impressed with that friggin' strawberry. We'll talk about that on the drive to work. And I got other shit to talk about too, so let's give her. Yeah, so basically I make this juice, right, with the strawberry professional series from Can Vape. And like, you open the bottle, like, when I bought TP, the perfumer's, uh, perfumer's apprentice version of the strawberry, you open the bottle and it smells like fucking fresh strawberries all cut up. Like, it smells like strawberry. I bought Flavor West's uh, sweet strawberry. Same thing. Capella's sweet strawberry. Same thing. This one here, you open it up and it smells custardy, like really custardy. I'm like, fucking what? So I was like, all right, well, we'll give it a try. And I mix it all together and I hit it and I'm like, this is not strawberry cheesecake. This tastes like Snickers. No, no, no. what was that I told Jet Wash? Not Snickers, Mars Bar, sorry. This tastes like a Mars Bar or even a Three Musketeer, if you will. You had those, I don't know if those are Canadian only chocolate bars, but if they are, I do apologize, but that's what they taste like, is a Three Musketeer, which is like uh, this white fudge-like shit wrapped in chocolate with a wafer bar on the bottom. It's good, but fuck, it's not strawberry, right? So, I don't know, I feel like they gave me a bottle of like custard, but just labeled it strawberry because they were out of strawberry. And I remember when, Jim, when we were doing one of those PlayStation chats, I was chatting with Jet Wash, and he ordered a bunch of the Can Vape Professional Series, and he complained about them. He said that's what was killing his coils, were those fucking flavorings, and that's because I think they put alcohol into them, but whatever. Uh, his strawberry wasn't dark like mine is. His strawberry was almost transparent. So I'm thinking they just fucking mislabeled and just gave it to me. So there you go, here's your fucking juice, like, yep. Yeah. It doesn't really taste too fucking good. Well, it tastes all right. It's not like I'm burning my face off or anything, but it's not the greatest tasting fucking e-juice I ever made in my life. That's that much is a given. Can't believe it's fucking 11 degrees Celsius out right now. This snow doesn't stand a chance. I think this morning I woke up and there was new snow on the ground. I think when I get to work, I'm gonna make myself a fucking coffee because that's good guy. But uh, yeah, so apparently on Monday the decision was made. Remember how I asked you, I told you guys about SwearNet and Nova Scotia and taxes and all that shit? Well, apparently they went, went through with it. They terminated the tax for media production. I wanted to check North Bay, or not North Bay, but Ontario still has that tax where you can film movies here and write off your productions and such. And like one of the things that didn't make sense was when she said these people don't pay taxes here when they're here. And it's like, yeah, they do. Because if they're buying anything 
from Nova Scotia, they're paying whatever the provincial sales tax is on top of the government sales tax, unless it's all banked together like HST is here in Ontario. Like we used to have a PST and a GST. One was seven, one was 8%. And then one dropped from eight to six, which made it 13% total. But on certain things like food and that, like uh, organics, like lettuce and shit like that, you didn't pay GST or you didn't pay PST. One of the two you didn't pay. But then they switched it all over to HST and now you pay 13% regardless of what you're getting. It's like the way she goes. So if you're staying at a hotel and it's 50 bucks a night, it's 15, uh, 50 bucks a night plus 13%. So another 750, no, 650 tacked on. So it becomes 5650 for your hotel room, right? That's just going by a really cheap, friggin' sleazy ass cockroach infested hotel room here in North Bay. They're normally a hundred bucks a night. But uh, yeah, so, you know, you got if you're doing a production in Nova Scotia, you know, you gotta get places for people to sleep. You might need building materials to build a set, to build a prop, build whatever. You know, you might need costumes. Now you gotta hire a seamstress if you don't have one. So now you're paying some company to fart out costumes for you. Either it's suits or fucking just t-shirts but you want something special on them that you don't have that's all money being spent in the province to produce a film none of it can be written off so it's I don't know it's kind of fucky but it doesn't make sense like there's a lot of money being spent over there on productions helping out small businesses helping out uh, restaurants and hotels and all this shit to try and keep afloat and the government's all worried about the 12.1 million dollars it costs them every year which they probably make in the sales tax and income tax and all that shit tax based on the production you know people are in there spending big time cash and stuff like it's nothing like oh we, we need to build some trailers for trailer park boys for instance you know the boys went out and bought a whole fuckload of derelict trailers that were only good for scrap and made Sunnyvale because they couldn't do it in a trailer park anymore for obvious reasons. They're too fucking noisy, so they had to, like, you know, stop that. But, I don't know, it's just fucking brutal. Like, shut her down because it's costing us $12.1 million a year. But let's not look at how much revenue it generates in the economy. Don't look at that. So now you're going to have a bunch of businesses that used to thrive on production months, which was the summer, and that's when they used to make their big fucking bank so they could survive the derelict winters they have out there because they get it way worse than us. And now they're not going to have that to look forward to because who the fuck's going to want to film over there? Nobody. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if the boys pack up and move to Ontario just so they can continue doing their fucking work. You know, go find some fucking shop somewhere and set it up as swearing it and fucking give her, you know? like. They just need a warehouse like operation. That's all they're working out of out of Nova Scotia. So I wouldn't be surprised if they decide to say fuck it and come to Ontario just so they can carry on with their fun antics. But it's like they have their houses established out there. Same problem I have here in town. You know, you're established, you have a house, you have a family, you have all this shit going on. You can't be fucking around, like sell everything and move. It's, it's hard work. And this is all because of the government. And this is what's fucked is, holy fuck, man. I'm pretty sure that guy was catwalking. Who does he fucking think he is? Jake the Garden Snake, for fuck's sakes. But anyway, um, yeah, so I think it's pretty fucky. But I know we still have that, that thing here in town. And like my buddy Joe was telling me, he's like, why don't you register your YouTube as a business and then make it into a full-fledged fucking production company. Do what you want to do with your life. You want to review technology on, on the YouTubes so people are aware of what's good and what's bad and you want to friggin make videos of your life and do all that and make money doing it and it's obviously a lot of work because fuck like I'll be at this for days sometimes trying to friggin get shit going and stuff and just get right wound up in it and people get all bitchy when I don't respond to comments or don't film a commenting on comments it's like bro I got things you know I'm a busy fucking guy just because I don't film when I'm busy because a lot of it's just not suited for camera. And I don't really have to show all that anyway, so... But anyway, I'm down here at hell, I mean work, and uh... Ah, uh, friggin' exciting day, probably not. Probably not. Today's gonna lick a big fat one, guaranteed. But honestly, if I had like a setup like, yeah, I'm gonna name drop him, Pug, or even Wreckham has, with that huge warehouse space, my fuck, man, I would set up the biggest damned green screen I would do a lot more with my videos. I would do a lot more. Like right now I'm working out of a 900 square foot house, which has seven foot ceilings, not high enough. I need to get the sheet higher up. 
and I can't do that in that house so it is the way it is and it's the way she goes but there's so much I want to do and it's hard to do it with when you don't have much room where if I had a place like Pugs for instance a shop that you can live in pretty much then I would have all the studio space I needed to actually fire off some pretty wicked fucking productions like there's stuff I want to do I wanted to set up all my computers for Project Artemis but build an actual bridge like if I had the space I would build like an actual starship bridge out of like plywood and fucking two by fours install the computers in it get six of my friends over and we totally do Jean-Luc retard of the USS second prize and it would be like we're fucking playing space but we would film it so that it looked kind of like an episode of Star Trek and it would be probably kind of fun. It'd probably be kind of fun. And, and like the stuff like that I want to do and there's so much more of this stuff I want to do and I want to do romping and go out and party on the bikes and like Bloke was going to come up this year with his mini bike and uh, we were going to go hang out in the, the Chisholm Trails. There's a couple spots where you can pitch tents and camp out and we we're going to do that. We we're going to bike out to the camping zone, lay down camp, you know, get a fire going, cook some dogs, have a couple beers or pops or whatever the fuck bloke's drinking now, probably water, I don't know, and just chill out, you know, have a good one and enjoy a camp out at night and YouTube the whole fucking thing, you know. It'd be a good time. We'd all have a blast. We'd all be out there. Me, Adrian, probably Rex. He'd probably be on a track to mind you. Uh, bloke and uh, obviously myself. Well, I already said myself. So that's four of us. And I don't know who else will come up and, and come and party. Maybe Bobby would come up and grab one of Bloke's bikes or whatever. I don't know. Use a mower or something. I don't know. Or use one of my bikes as long as he promises not to put her through the drink and swamp fuck the motor. Because I hate it when people swamp fuck my motors. But, you know, like it's all these things we have planned that... Well, now I can't do because I'm going to be stuck working here till God knows fucking when. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It'd be nice to have my own property like that with a lot of property on it. I don't want to do jumps and stuff. I'd like to have a track where my friends can come over and test and tune their shit. You know, like Rex is building a new mower. He doesn't have enough room where he is. Well, he does have enough room. I shouldn't say that. He just needs to zone the area and build the track. But, like, if I had, like, a property where he could just come out and bring his shit and fucking dump her... Take her around the track, take her for a couple rips. Oh, it doesn't work right. Maybe I'll change the gear ratio now. Oh, oh, holy fuck, now she's super quick. Let's race. And then we can get on mowers or whatever and just give her. You know, that'd be friggin' awesome. But it's all just a pipe dream, actually. And, um, yeah, not proper, not the proper time to be considering something like that. Because, fuck, I don't even know where my life's going to take me after this place. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens, but... I'm really curious about what's going to happen with Swearnet and Trailer Park Boys Season 10. Because, fuck, man... Season 9 had me going, and I want Season 10 big times. And it sounds like on the State of the Union, when they're talking about all this nonsense, that uh, they've already started writing Season 10. They're going to finish it up and try and get shooting, like, ASAP, because they have until July 1st. After that, they can't make any more tax claims for independent films. So, bullshit. So they're going to try and bang it out as fast as possible, and maybe it'll be up on Netflix by October. Maybe November. I don't know. It could be up next year this time. Hard to say. But, uh, yeah, really, uh, really hoping everything goes through for the guys. Sounds like they're letting a lot of their interns and employees go because they just won't be able to afford to film, uh, to film Trailer Park Boys Season 10 and keep all these people working for them. So that kind of blows. And, like, they didn't really talk much about it. So I don't know, if, like, exactly what's happening. But it sucks because, yeah just blows friggin was really looking forward to more trailer park boys beyond season 10 to be honest with you and now we might not even get that we don't know guess we'll find out as time goes on but as for me boys i should probably get inside and get this shitty shift done with which is probably going to be just you know eight hours of sleeping at my desk because it's the weekend and it's always dead on the weekend unless something in that building exploded and it's a beautiful as fuck day out today wasn't like this this morning when i was out driving around picking up stuff for the friggin dog leash and all that other junk that I bought, you know, the Japanese cotton and all that. But now it's like, oh, you got to go to work? Oh, let there be light. All weekend, piss and rain. Day you got to go back to work. Sunny as fuck. Who knows, maybe this will get rid of all the snow in my yard, though. Next weekend, we can totally take a mini bike out for fucking rip snot. That'd be kind of exciting. Not really. I'm just going to be driving in circles, but probably get working on the garage and clean that out and get everything all straightened out in there. Actually, I want to do that either tonight or tomorrow. I Probably tomorrow during the day if it's like this. Because then I can just uh, open up the bay door and let the friggin' natural light wash over it. And I'll be able to see shit. Because i got to get that TV box all chopped up. 
I got to get the shit out of the TV box and bagged because this Thursday I can go to the dump and then uh, yeah get all that straightened up and sweep the floor and fucking move things around and contemplate uh, about taking off that oh, I got to figure out how I'm going to pump up the tire on the mower oh that mower is in a bad position where the tire sits it's right against this like press board fucking shelving system I have and I can't see the valve for the air inlet. So I gotta like try and pull that tractor out of there on a flat tire, which they don't move that well when the tires are flat. It's like trying to push a rock down the driveway when your driveway is filled with mud, it just doesn't work. So I'm gonna have to really haul on her and push on her and get her out of there and inflate that tire, get the fucker out, remove the pins in the front, remove the pins on the sides get that deck off of there and then uh, put it up on my sawhorses, flip it, clean it, figure out how to remove the blades, shouldn't be too hard, probably just a bolt, and then uh, inspect the bearings and hope the fuck they're bolted on and they're not soldered or welded on, I should say. That they're welded on, that might be a whore and a half, I'll have to grind the welds and take them off and then get some other ones and weld them back on. And I don't know if I'm that proficient in welding to be doing that kind, so I really hope they're bolted on, because that'd be a lot easier. And I'll just go to the tractor supply store here in town and be like, do you have these bearings? I need three. And then re-bearing up the fucker, coat them in grease, like just cake them with grease, and then uh, should have an easy summer of lawn mowing ahead of me. Oh yeah, and I gotta fix the belt guide, because the friggin' belt, if you're really giving her on the motor, and you disengage the deck, it just throws the belt. Just throws it, like game over. The belt that drives the deck is no longer attached. Oh, I love finger fucking my eyeball. But anyway, that's Bruce pulling in behind me. I'm pretty sure of it. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's Bruce. And he's about to hit my car. So anyway, people, I'm gonna shut her down here. Thanks for watching, like, favorite, comment. Until next time, keep on vlogging.